Hey guys, we are in Moynihan a train hall here in New York and we are getting ready to leave on our vacation to LA, but we're gonna do something a little different this time. We are going to take the long way around up north into Canada and all the way over and down to Los Angeles. So join us for this very fun vacation. trip starts in the Metropolitan Lounge. We have business class seats, which does not give you access to the lounge, but we do have executive select status, so we were able to access the lounge that way. If you've seen our other videos from this station, you already know that this is one of our favorite Amtrak lounges. The staff here is awesome. The food and drink selection gets better and better each time we visit. We enjoyed our breakfast sandwiches and drinks before our ride. Now, after we've had a chance to relax before our trip, we are told to head down to the platform to board the train. Those coming from the Metropolitan Lounge get priority to board first. We used a companion coupon and we did pay $241 total for the ride from New York City all the way to Toronto, Canada. We board the train at 7.15 a.m. and we should arrive at about 7.43 p.m. <laughs> Business class shares a car with the cafe in the back of the train. The Maple Leaf does not have seating assignments. It is open seating. There is plenty of room to store large luggage behind the last row of seats, and you will also find more room to store smaller bags and backpacks in the overhead storage area. The seats are very comfortable with lots of amenities, being able to lay all the way back and also to be able to put your legs up as well in a couple different ways. And there are also outlets available for both seats on the shared seats side and of course also outlets on the individual side as well.
All right, so we ran up here into the station in Albany real quick to use the restroom. Um, and we're, this is actually a really nice station, but I wanted to take a quick moment also to remind you that if you are headed into Canada from the US on the train, you gotta make sure that you have printed tickets. You need those when you get to the border at the passport check. Just make sure that you have them printed and you have tags for all of your bags with the stickers on your tickets and you will be good to go. There are lots of reminders, but just in case, make sure that you have your printed tickets and your all of your bags are tagged even if you're keeping them with you.
Please have over Niagara Falls, Canada. Niagara Falls, Canada, please, uh, once we arrive, stay seated. The border agents will get on board and escort everybody off for customs. Once again, once we get there, please stay seated. Niagara Falls, Canada, coming up in just a few minutes. All right, so we arrived here in Niagara Falls, Canada, and we went through customs inside. We're waiting for them to clear the train, and then we're gonna go back onto the train with all of our things, and we'll be ready to head on up to Toronto. All right, that was pretty easy, and the whole thing took about 15 minutes. They came and got us, took us off the train, cleared customs, and now we're good to go. <laughs> okay, so decided we wanted a little something to eat, and. We noticed that the menu is a little bit different here on the Canadian side. So we've got a couple of sandwiches here. Turkey sandwich here and a breakfast sandwich here. And then we got a little baggie of chips. And also note that the beverages are not included in business class on the Canadian side. We got in last night late here in Toronto, but we are staying at the Double Tree just here over my shoulder. It is the downtown area, so now we're gonna go explore and see uh, the Eaton Center, the CN Tower, and see what else the city has to offer. We're at the Hockey Hall of Fame here in Toronto, Canada, and I visited this as a young boy, and now, quite a few years later, I'm back. I'm bringing Allie, show her all the Red Wings that are in the Hockey Hall of Fame.
All right, guys, we are here in Toronto getting ready to head on an epic journey across Canada from Toronto all the way over to Vancouver, Toronto Union Station behind me. And as you can see, it is snowing. We are all bundled up and we are expecting lots more snow as we go across the country. All right, so with our um, sleeper cabin tickets, we do get access to the business lounge. So we came in here, we checked our bags, and we've made our reservations for lunch and dinner for day one of this journey right now. I'm gonna go grab some coffee and try to warm up from that very cold walkover. Card number today, Miss 110. 110, lovely, and right here with, with Janet. Me, that guy right okay, there. I have I'll his ticket, him. just so yeah, you know. Okay, all right. Thank you. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And you? Excellent. I'm great. Just have a seat in the room and wait for okay. me there. This one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm with her. Yeah. Just have a seat in your room and wait for Do me I pull there. the door, or is there a magical hard. way to push, open it? Push hard. Push, push hard. hard. There we go. Thank you. Got it. <laughs> that was tricky. So this is the lower level of the dome car, family style seating here, very comfortable seats down here as well with the table space in front of you. All right, so if you're looking for some place to relax outside of the room, we are here at the upper level of the dome car, and we're gonna be relaxing here in these nice soft chairs and enjoying the beautiful views.
so now we are in the lower level of the park car hanging out down here it's kind of like a living room it's so nice and so comfortable um, they have reading lights and cup holders and really just a comfortable place to hang out let me show you around water, snacks, and the park car, and also some games right here you can play. Like the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Let's see if I can solve it. Let us know in the comments if you can solve a Rubik's Cube and if you think we can. Allie, can you solve that? I don't know. It doesn't look promising. <laughs> and there's a color missing. <laughs> oh, let's, let's go wild card spot. <laughs> yeah. All right, so of course we are on board and we have got to show you guys around our room. We got a cabin for two. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what this room looks like. It's a really nice room. We have a bathroom in here, a sink, and then I know it doesn't look like there's beds in here, but there are. So we've got these two chairs here. You can actually move these around, check this out. If you wanna switch the direction that the seats are facing, so that's really cool. Now, When they make up the bed tonight, those are actually going to be underneath my bed because our the, my bed will pop out of here. Rob's will drop down from up there. We'll show you what that looks like later on. But then the other thing that we have is, of course, a very nice sink in here. And added bonus, we've got drinking water right here in the room. So it's going to be on top. It's just for the drinking water. And then our sink water with soap and some lotion as well. And then... Sorry about that sound. We do have our own commode right here in the room, which is awesome as well. That is actually perfect. And you don't want to throw on a bunch of stuff in the middle of the night. Oop, train is moving. <laughs> you don't want to throw on a bunch of stuff in the middle of the night and go out into the hallway. It's great to be able to just go to the bathroom right here in a the room. There's tons of space here. Even if I'm calculating um, when the beds come down, it's going to be about right here. So you'll still have this nice little hallway right here to move about. So we're going to keep enjoying the views out the window um, and go grab some lunch. But we'll come back tonight and we'll show you what it looks like once the room is all made up for nighttime.
We are loving this room on the Canadian, but this isn't the only place we can sit. We can move these chairs around and sit here and look out the window to the side, but there are two other areas we can go sit. There's a park car, which actually has a bar in it, and then it has a lounge area and a dome above it. So it's like, there's really three places to sit in that car. And there's also a dome car, which has kind of a lower uh, living room style seating area, and then an upper level dome car to sit in as well. So really, on this train, besides sitting in your room, there's five different places we can go sit. So even though we're gonna be on this train for several days, we're not gonna get bored. We're not gonna be seeing it from the same place because there's a lot to go explore. It's a really long train too, so we get our little bit of walk in every day. And uh, I think right now we're gonna go explore and see which of those cars we wanna sit in and watch for a little while now. We are at our first fresh air break here in Capriol and it is quite chilly out. I think it degrees in the 20s Fahrenheit. So I'm not going to be out here too long. We're going to walk around a little bit, stretch my legs and then we're going to head to dinner. So I'm looking forward to that. But as you can see, there's still a little bit of sunset behind me. You can't see me very well, but you can see the sunset back there. So uh, we're going to walk around a little bit here and stretch our legs. We're cool with that. Thanks, you know. Okay, so we just got back from dinner and our beds are magically made, which is lovely. So we're gonna give you a quick tour of what it looks like once they make the beds. And as I mentioned earlier, the attendant has to use a key in order to move the beds. So um, that is controlled by them. And so they took the two seats that we were sitting in earlier, they fold down some magical way and they are actually underneath my bed. And so this is what my bed looks like. Look at this, it's huge. I feel like it's fairly wide. Um, it looks like a like an actual twin size bed to me. And then I've got a basket here to put my phone. I got a light here and a little shelf up there. And then here we've got an attendant call button, which I don't think I'll need. I hope not. And that's about it for down here. Not a lot too much going on because everything else is out there and then she's got the ladder out here as well this looks like a nice sturdy ladder it's wood and it's got um, these steps they have it so that um, this is kind of like I don't want to say sandpaper but it's kind of it's coarse so that you're not gonna slip on there yeah. so that's really good so these steps are gonna lead us all the way up to where mr. Marmion is Rob is up in his penthouse Ta -da. Rob's gonna give you a tour yeah. upstairs. This is great up here. Look how much room I have. I'm sitting straight up and I still have quite a bit of room. So a lot. I have so much stuff up here. I have this little <laughs> two pockets to hold glasses and my phone I think I'll put there. I have an attendant call button. I have a light. I have another hook right here to hang stuff. But most importantly, this bed is super comfortable mm. and so much headspace. I can sit up, I can turn all the way around. This this bed is really wide. Like it's yeah, it's, it's like an actual twin size. It feels bed, way it? wider than any mm -hmm. bed I've ever had on Amtrak. Yeah. And I have uh, this net thing, which you know, honestly, I've never fallen into <laughs> the net, so I don't know 
what would happen. It would probably feel weird, but let's hope that doesn't happen Seems tonight. Good. And I have that fan that's still going to be blowing yeah, in tonight. So I really like this up here. I also have a little tray over here. It kind of concerns me because this lip is so mm. small and the train has been really quite rocking at times. I wouldn't put anything like my phone up there or anything valuable because I feel like it would just fall all the way to the floor. So, uh, yeah, this is great. I, this, this is one of my favorite setups for an upper berth sleeping accommodation on a train so far. All right, we have stopped here at Sioux Lookout. It's only our second fresh air break. First one of the day, so we're walking around here, stretching our legs a little bit, getting a fresh air. We only have about 15 minutes here, so well, it's, uh, it's not too bad. I thought it was gonna be colder, so as you can see, I'm extremely bundled up. <laughs> but it's not that bad here. on this train it is quite cold so they do have hot chocolate on board but you got to make it yourself so I'm gonna go do that right now that is hot All right, they've got Nestle carnation that should be good Stir that up. Alright. Smells good. 
Might be too hot. Ooh. It's hot, but it's good. So we got off here in Winnipeg and we have a longer stop here because the crew changes over. So we have a nice long chunk of time. Um, we have about two hours, but if you, if you want to get back on the train before the time is up, then you have to do that within the first hour. Otherwise, you have to wait until they do it at nine o'clock. But um, we're enjoying our time here. Take a look at downtown Winnipeg. Okay, we just finished our lunch and we made it to Saskatoon. So we thought we better get some steps in before we get to Edmonton. So we're out here walking on the platform. We got a short-ish stop. What do you think, Rob? That's good, I like it. <laughs> but it is a bit nippy. <laughs> I think the steps count double if it's under I think so. 10 degrees. I think so too. Doesn't like your body have to work harder to keep it warm so you don't freeze to death? I think so. I don't know. Maybe a doctor could tell us in the comments. Thanks.
All right, we made it to Edmonton. It is a little after nine o'clock. Got in a little bit late, but we do have a three hour stop here. So we got off the train. We're gonna walk around. It's not snowing. It was snowing on the way in and uh, see what the station looks like. And then we get back on, we leave here at midnight. So uh, just a few hours to look around now. Uh, Jasper is beautiful though. You can see the mountain now. And we're gonna look at that as we walk back to the train. So this is the exciting part. We are getting ready to head into the Canadian Rockies. Actually, we're sitting in them, if you can see around me. The sun is coming up, and I'm not gonna lie, I am really excited about what we are going to see today. Good morning, everyone. May I have your attention, please? On behalf of your service manager, Lynn Marcoux, in the area of Canada, it is our pleasure to welcome you aboard train number one, the legendary Canadian en route to Vancouver, British Columbia. While traveling on the Canadian, our crew is responsible for your safety and well-being. Unsafe or disrespectful behavior towards passengers or crew will not be tolerated. As we depart, we would like to draw your attention to our onboard safety instructions and policies. For passengers traveling in our economy class, we ask that you please take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the safety pamphlet located in the seat pocket in front of you. Please make note of the emergency exits located in your car. For passengers traveling in our sleeper cars, your attendant will be there to explain the safety features of your car. And in the event of a train evacuation, the onboard crew will facilitate this process. Oh, Standing in the vestibule is not permitted. For your safety, you must wear shoes when walking on the train, and all carry-on bags must be stored in the designated area. Please be advised that smoking tobacco, e-cigarettes, and cannabis is strictly prohibited on board the train and on station platforms. Yeah. 
So we've been given lots of different choices to eat and I've really been impressed with the variety of types of meals that we've been offered. This chicken pot pie is absolutely delicious. Um, we've been served hamburgers and different types of pasta and prime rib, but um, this pot pie for brunch today is very good.
which runs into the Fraser River and then drains down all the way down to Vancouver and into the Pacific Ocean. Right now, Pyramid Falls is coming up on the left, left hand side. Enjoy the view. Thank you. All right, so we are stopped here in Kamloops. We got in a little bit early tonight and we were at dinner. So we finished up our dinner and we still had enough time to come out here on the platform and check it out, get some steps in. It's actually not that cold anymore, which is really nice. It's hard to believe this, but I'm saying it's only t about 29 degrees Fahrenheit, they said. So that's actually not bad at all compared to the temperatures we've had along the way. Uh, so I'm gonna get a couple steps in here and hop back on the train. All right guys, we made it to Vancouver. It is early and we are gonna to try to check into our hotel in a little bit and then try to explore the city. All right, so we came over to the hotel um, to try to check in. It's 8 a.m. <laughs> by the time we were off the train, so we thought we'd come over here, sit in the lobby, hang out for a little while till they let us check in. But we do have gold status um, with Hilton. We are at the Hilton of Vancouver downtown, and they did let us check in early, so they gave us a room. I'm gonna give you a quick tour here. We did pay 161, including taxes and such, uh, for this room, but it's a really nice room let me give you a quick tour here so this is the bathroom which is really nice and big a nice big sink with plenty of space to set our toiletry bags the commode and of course this tub is really quite nice I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take a bath in there because that looks like a nice tub perfect for a bath now it, the bathroom is on this end which is kind of interesting and the bedroom is all the way down here um, so we'll take a look at that in just a second but here's the rest of the room here kind of the living area this is kind of a little closet mudroom getting dressed area never seen an area quite like that before in a hotel room because this is actually like a soft bench that you can sit on and then of course put your pair of boots dirty shoes and such right there I guess so you don't get the room all dirty it does have a refrigerator which is quite nice it's a pretty good size one for a hotel refrigerator. It also has a microwave, ice bucket, and the kettle, which I love. And then it also has a Nespresso machine. Nespresso, if you're into Nespresso, they have that. And nice couch here with somewhere to put your feet and a lovely desk. That's a really nice big desk to sit and download videos from our trip so far. <laughs> and then this nice area here with a TV and there's a closet in here it's a small closet and there's a matching small closet in the bedroom as well and then this is the room here so it's kind of a odd configuration to have the bedroom on one end and the bathroom all the way over there and around the corner but this is a nice room 
That's a good price for downtown Vancouver. It was only a mile from the, it's only about a mile from the train station. We were gonna walk, but of course it's raining. And the driver on the way over said uh, the nickname we have for Vancouver is rain Coover. <laughs> we said it must be kind of like Seattle. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go out and explore anyways. It looks really good. All the people we've met so far have been really lovely. So we're excited to see what else there is here in the city. Time for lunch here in Vancouver and it has been raining for days and days and days, torrential rain, so we decided to kind of stay in. We went to walk around the neighborhood. There's a lot of great Asian restaurants and we decided to try a new little place called Japa Dog and they've got Japanese style hot dogs and fries. So Ali's got here a Wagyu sea seaweed dog and I have a Wagyu cheese and bacon dog. And we have some type of shim cheery fries. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you I say that. It's called something else. It's, it's called something else. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try those out. Supposed those to be, are supposed to be spicy. Supposed to be spicy. I'm going to take one and Let's try see. it. <laughs> not a little spicy. Not that bad. <laughs> Well, your face hasn't turned red. That's no. a good sign. Well, let's try this Wagyu cheese hot dog, though. Oh, that was good. Look at all that cheese, bacon. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a really good dog. <laughs> your seaweed dog is going to be good, I think, too. You're not going to try the seaweed dog? No, I'm not going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. We are here at Pacific Station and we are waiting for the Amtrak Cascades train. Looking forward to riding from Vancouver all the way over across the border and into Seattle. We use points to get these tickets and we've spent 7,455 points for two business class tickets. So we'll be riding in business class, excited about that. And it's a little different. We just crossed the border a few weeks ago into Canada and on that train we had to get out at the border and go through customs. On this train going from Vancouver to Seattle, we will go through customs here at the station in Vancouver and we shouldn't have to get off at the border. The train will just keep going and it's all Amtrak the whole way. So that'll be exciting. I think we're going to try to eat on board and see what kind of food they have. So we are going to be keeping our bags with us because there is storage space in the baggage car for our bags. That way it'll be easier and quicker when we get to Seattle to King Street Station. We just grab our bags and hop right off of the train and head over to our hotel. Also um, note that when you come to Pacific Station, you do not have access to the lounge here. It is just for via rail passengers. Actually, it's really just for the passengers uh, riding the Canadian. So just keep that in mind. Um, there are a couple of coffee shops or one coffee shop and a little gift shop there behind me. But there are a few things within walking distance here all around the station. So you can always grab something there to eat. We ran across the street to Subway and grabbed a sandwich and then came back here and ate it and enjoyed it. And now we're just going to wait uh, for them to call us for boarding. It'll be around 4 o'clock. Um, and then we'll get uh, through customs and we'll board and we'll get ready to enjoy maybe a tiny bit of scenery because it's going to be dark most of the way there.
All right, so far we're the only people in the business car right now. And we've picked out the back seats. Those are our favorites in the business car because you can still recline and there's no one behind you. So this is a good spot to be, but there's also the single seats on the other side if you're traveling on your own. Rob's trying that out. I might sit over here. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if he stays over there the whole ride. <laughs> So we noticed that the seats were going to be facing away from the direction of travel and as you may know Allie gets uh, motion sickness if she's riding with that but the entire car was facing the wrong direction. So the conductor came by and noticed that uh, we wanted to have him switched and he actually flipped two of the seats around for us which we didn't even know you could do and so we'll show you what that looks like now. So yeah now we're going to be riding in the direction of travel, but the rest of the seats in the entire car are facing backwards. I decided to get the cheeseburger, Amtrak Cafe cheeseburger, and they gave us coupons for $3 off any order. So this was normally $7.25. Got it for $4.25. That's pretty good. And uh, I haven't had one of these in a while, so hopefully it's still as good as it used to be. It is hot. <laughs> It is really good for a microwave cheeseburger. <laughs> okay, little known fact about me is that I love mac and cheese, but I rarely eat it. But I love the Amtrak white cheddar mac and cheese. So I'm splurging on that today. I got that with my $3 um, dollars off coupon. Also note that in business class on the Cascades, your beverages are not included in your fare.
Alrighty folks, we're rolling. That means that the section is now concluded. Welcome to the US. Wi-Fi should be up and running. And be sure it's back open for service in addition to the restrooms. Thanks for everyone for being ready for that inspection. just a little busy. If you were on already and you have stuff on the seat next to you, please move it, folks. So these folks can have a nice place to walk to uh, rest their legs. Please. Thank you. All right, here we are in Seattle King Street Station. We had a great time and a very nice, easy ride on the Cascades. We're headed over to our hotel. All right, we are in our hotel in Seattle, Pioneer Square. We're in the Citizen M, and it's a pretty cool hotel. You can see all the lights behind me. Uh, it's kind of a smaller hotel, but very new, very nice. And we usually try to stay at the Embassy Suites Pioneer Square in Seattle, but it is sometimes very expensive. That was the case today. So we got this one for a hundred bucks. It is smaller than you're thinking. It's more of a European concept. So the bed is just kind of right up against the wall and it's an all-in-one uh, kind of unit like that. So that's the deal. We're here in Seattle. We're trying to get to LA. That's our next destination. Co-star light tomorrow morning and we're gonna head to bed because it's already late and we got to get up early So good night, and we'll see you in the morning quick change of plans this morning as you can see We are in a car and not on the co-star light There was a cancellation Amtrak just notified us they canceled the co-star light route for today because uh, of flooding in California uh, severe rains for the last few weeks flooded the tracks they canceled the route and we do have to get to Los Angeles by tomorrow because we have a uh, cruise we're doing out of there so we didn't really know what to do flooding wasn't gonna you know go away in just a couple days so we rented a car not really sure how that will affect us because roads can flood too but we're gonna try to drive down there and do, do our best and so plan for today is I think to try to get to Sacramento, stay the night there, and then the next day get to LA. So instead of a train for this portion, we are doing a good old American road trip and we're excited about it. We're gonna have some fun. quite a bit and it's water everywhere so hopefully we can make it through but uh, we're on I-5 and some of the lanes are closed we'll see how it goes 